Storm Babette is on the way. It's going to drop a lot of rain between today and the weekend. We have a Met Office amber warning in place from tomorrow across parts of eastern Scotland, but many other yellow warnings are also in place for this storm system. It's been picking up moisture over the Bay of Biscay and it's now tracking its way slowly but surely northwards. The isobars are squeezing together, so yes, it is also going to turn increasingly windy. We've seen a set of weather fronts bring some rain through the night over north. Northern Ireland and Western Scotland. That will continue to edge away, but further south we'll start to see a few showers through the morning. Still many places having a dry, bright day today across southern Scotland and eastern England in particular. But by this afternoon and through the evening, that rain is going to be moving back into southern England, South Wales. Heavy bursts of rain, some bright colours there and some blustery winds too. And the rain also pushing back up towards Northern Ireland will be heavy. And once it sets in here, it may well last well into Thursday. The breeze, as I mentioned, continuing to strengthen. You'll feel that on these eastern coasts. Temperatures struggling here, 13 or 14, and feeling even colder. And feeling colder than 16 or 17 across the south as well, with a gusty wind and heavy outbreaks of rain. But generally, uh, temperatures a little bit higher uh, than they have been so far through this week. So slowly turning a little milder, but it's definitely turning wetter. As I said, that rain really pepping up across Northern Ireland. Yellow warning in place here for later today. And then this rain band just chugs northwards and it becomes kind of slow moving and grinds to a halt across parts of eastern Scotland as we head into Thursday night and Friday. Temperatures through the night, well, holding up in double figures for many, so it won't be a cold start to Thursday. But there's the storm system, as I said, moving northwards, bringing that moisture. The isobars pinching together, getting very windy across northwest Scotland. Coming up against high pressure across Scandinavia, it's that, that high pressure that's stopping the progress of Babette, which is why it becomes slow moving, which is why we're concerned about the rainfall totals building up in eastern Scotland in particular. As that rain band continues here through Thursday through into Friday, there'll be heavy rain further south uh, as well during Thursday. Signs of it pushing back further south into Friday and the weekend. But as I said, we do have a number of Met Office warnings in place. Do keep up to date with those warnings constantly being monitored and updated. You can check them out on our app and on our website. But basically, it's looking like a, a pretty wet day on Thursday across eastern Scotland. That wind just feeding in the moisture. We could see 150, maybe 200 millimetres of rain over some locations in eastern Scotland. That is exceptional rainfall and is likely to lead to some flooding. Uh, there'll be gusty winds too, particularly across the far northwest of Scotland, moving over the mountains there, giving some unusually strong gusts. Further south, the winds will be a little lighter, which means the rain could be a bit more slow moving. Again, there will be some brighter spells across Wales and southwest England, but also there will be some heavy showers. Temperatures again ticking up by a degree or so, 18, maybe 19 across the south, but obviously feeling cooler with the wind and the rain further north, which will continue into Thursday evening and perhaps even well into Friday as well. So we do have those warnings in place. Do check them out on our app and our website and make sure you're following us for the very latest on Storm Babette across social media.